Good morning everyone, I'm Craig. And I'm Mel. And you're with Love and His World, and today we are at the Animal Kingdom for breakfast at Tusker House. And we're really excited because it just reopened within the last month. And it used to be a buffet, but now it's still all you can eat, but it's served family style. We're excited to get inside, see the characters. We'll see Mickey, Donald, Daisy, and probably Goofy. And we're taking you with. See you inside. here at the Tusker House and this is a big big restaurant I love the African decor all the animals just everything screams African I love that um, the food looks amazing it's still unlimited it is served family style while we were waiting they came with fruit and some bread the bread looks incredible I don't know if you can see this but it's actually like safari themed bread it looks awesome I love this um, so it's going to be a great time. We already saw Mickey. The rest of the characters are going to be coming through. We got some of the uh, Jumbo Juice, some coffee. Connor was really excited for some reason to get coffee. Uh, it's going to be a great time and we can't wait to have you with us. Just a note, Connor just wanted to mix coffee. He's not actually drinking it. <laughs> That's true. So I had a chance to try the croissant and the uh, Basically the cornbread, which is a little different cornbread. There's some kind of red and green, and not exactly sure what it is. Uh, but it was very good. Actually, what I really enjoyed was the strawberry jam on the croissant. I think Melissa's putting the hazelnut on the croissant. What do you think of that? It was really good. I put butter, of course, on the cornbread. It's not your typical sweet cornbread. It doesn't have a sweet aftertaste. But it's fresh. It still tastes good. I really like the hazelnut on the croissant. It was a really good mix of flavors. Again, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. But overall, it was really flavorful. Muffin. And right now, it tastes the hazel stuff. Tastes like normal plastic, just chocolate. And how's that? It just tastes like normal plastic chocolate. That's all it just tastes. Do you like it? So as you can see, we took care of all the rolls. They were all really good. And I really like the different uh, companies they had to put on there. The strawberry was very good. The hazelnut was good. The butter was good. Had some fruit as well. I had some uh, watermelon, some pineapple, and that was also very good. So, so far we're off to a really good start with this breakfast. So we were just brought our hot food and it consists of, it looks like a breakfast potato, we have Mickey waffles and Simba waffles, some bacon, some eggs, yeah that's gonna go, well, that's awesome, that's a great Simba waffle, got some sausage, and then to keep with the theme they also brought some curry chicken just to give that traditional African spice, looks great. So I had a chance to try some of the hot food. I uh, had the sausage, which actually is a lot more spicy than I was expecting it to be. It's not bad, it just has a little bit of a heat aftertaste. I also tried the Simba uh, waffle, which I'm not lying. See what I did there? It is really good. Uh, I, like the, I like the waffle. The egg was good. It just wasn't very warm. It was kind of cold. So it seems like the food was probably prepared sitting sitting around waiting to be picked up for a little bit of time. Other than that, everything else is pretty good. It's not outstanding, but it's pretty good. 
So I tried a couple of different items. I tried the eggs and I was very happy with them. They were fluffy, they weren't runny at all, so I did like the eggs. The bacon was pretty flavorful. It was a thicker bacon, not much fat on it, um, not greasy, so the bacon was good. I did try the potatoes and I was a fan of the potatoes. They seem pretty similar to the potatoes they used to have on the buffet, so I thought that was a good flavor. And then I tried uh, Simba uh, wobble as well, and I couldn't even cut through mine. It was a little overdone, and it actually sounded like a saw going through. But do you want to see how hard it is? Yeah, see, here's the thing. I think now I had to grab the Mickey waffle as well. And I ran into the same thing. It was more like a potato chip than a waffle. Yeah. And I grabbed another one, and that one was fine. My first symbol waffle was good. Yours, it's like a hockey puck. So it's just that the consistency is not quite there, particularly in the same bowl. So yeah, it's a little odd. It was a little disappointing. Um, but overall, I thought the bacon was good, as I said. The eggs were good. I liked the potatoes. I don't think I'm going to try the African rice because I tried some of the rice itself. Plain rice, good. I got a little of the sauce, and it seems a little spicy. Yeah, it's got a kick. So we just wrapped up our meal here at Tusker House and uh, let me say, I think it was good, not spectacular. I agree. And that seems to be a theme. We've eaten at Tusker House a few times uh, and it kind of always holds true. There's some items that are really good and some that are just meh for us. Uh, but overall, it was a good experience um, seeing it reopen. It's always nice to have the characters back. There's a lot more space in the dining rooms now. Mm -hmm. However, I will say there is a negative to that. Depending on where your seat's at, you are a long distance from the characters. Uh, we really didn't even have... We were in a corner. Yeah, we were in a corner, so the characters didn't even come close to our table. Other tables, they kind of walked right up to. Ours, just not one of those. Which, you know, that happens. It does. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that meal is worth the price. Uh, it is pricey, but it's kind of in line with all the other character meals. I will say I think there are better options out there. I agree. Like a Chef Mickey's, uh, for example. I even think Kate May was better. There's no characters there, but I, I just think it kind of was better food. What did you think of the experience? So I would agree with you. I mean, there aren't a lot of options over here at Animal Kingdom for breakfast. So if you are looking for a good breakfast or just more than just a sandwich, it's a good option. Um, as you said, we've come a couple of times in the past and we kind of have hit or miss options or hit or miss experiences yeah. here, should I say. Yeah. I do miss the ham that was on the buffet. Oh, that, was, yeah, that, was good. that was one of my favorite things whenever it was a buffet option. So I think my favorite items, the fruit was really fresh. Yeah. I did like the fruit. Um, I liked the croissant with the hazelnut spread and the potatoes, I would say, were probably my favorite items. Um, I didn't try the spicy rice, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, but the other stuff was, it was okay. Again, it wasn't a bad meal, but for what you pay. You expect um, a little bit better and the food yeah. to be a little fresher. I think some of the items were not fresh. Mm -hmm. You know, you tried that Simba waffle and it was making sound effects when it hit the plate but anyway so we hope you did find this video to be informative if you did you know please hit that like button we'd really appreciate it subscribe to the channel that would be amazing and be on the lookout for new content and as always join us next time and we'll show you why we are loving this world have a great day everyone